Pretty simply, EC is a measure of electrical conductivity, or really, really simply, it's just a measure of the amount of liquid nutrient that's in our reservoir and in our solution in here in the water. Too little EC can mean that we get stunted plant growth, we can see some discoloration in our leaves, and just general explosive growth not really happening. So conversely, if our EC is really high, we can have some problems that are visible on our plant leaves as well. We'll see that we'll have some curling and wilting leaves, which basically means there's far too much concentrated nutrient in our reservoir and in our solution, and those plants can't just get access to pure water. In our air garden, we've got a target EC of 2.3 to 2.5. And that's a pretty general number to ensure that we can grow a variety of different plants. We want to be able to grow not only great leafy greens and herbs, which require actually less EC, but having that figure of 2.3 to 2.5 also allows us to grow fruiting plants as well. How do we use our EC pen? It's really, really simple. We're going to take it out of the box. And the good news is that this EC pen is already what's called being pre-calibrated by the factory, which is really cool. So we've simply got our EC pen here. We're gonna turn it on by hitting the power button once. And we're gonna see that when we turn it on, we've got a PPM measurement there. What we wanna do is we wanna hold down this last button that says mode, and we wanna let that go all the way through to MS and MS we can see is going to give us the EC figure that we need in a single and a decimal unit. So when we put that in, we can see what that measurement is. So if we open up our access port and we dunk our little EC pen in, we can see that our level there is around 2.2, which is just under that 2.3 to 2.5. Oop. See, it's just pulled up now to 2.3, so that's perfect. What can we do with our air garden if our EC is too low or it's too high? It's really easy and very simple. If our EC levels are too low in our reservoir, if we put our EC pen into our reservoir and the measurement is giving us around, say, 1.6 to 1.7, and we know that our target EC range is 2.3 to 2.5, we know that we need to raise that EC level by 0.6. And the great thing about our two-part nutrient solution is that for every 10 mils of nutrient solution that we add, it's gonna raise that EC level by 0.1. So if we need to raise that by 0.6 to get it to 2.3, all we need to do is add 60 mils of our part one and 60 mils of our part two. Now remember, we always add these in equal amounts to get to that figure and we add them separately and we always stir them in and then add one after the other, which is really important. Conversely, again, if our EC levels are too high, what we need to do is we need to dilute that solution in our reservoir. We can do that one of two ways. If your reservoir is completely full and your EC is really high, we've got our bung. So what you can do is you can just open up your bung. You can let some of that water come out and don't be scared. You can just let that out take it down say about a third and then screw the bung back in even if the water is still coming out it'll come back in and screw back in nice and easy then we can fill that space up with some just plain water and that's going to dilute that EC level back down to a reasonable level and we remeasure it with our pen conversely if it's already down to halfway and our EC is say at around three what we can do is we can put our hose straight into the reservoir, we can bring that water all the way back up to our max fill line, and what we'll find is, is that might even dilute it down further past 2.3, but then we can adjust as necessary with our nutrient solution to get it back up within that optimal range. The last thing we need to do after we've done all our testing is just to make sure that we rinse this before we store it. These are really bulletproof and simple. There's not much you really need to do with your EC pens, which is cool. All we need to do is we need to make sure, again, we just rinse off these two little probes, these two little metal probes at the bottom. We give it a good rinse back and forth, just enough to kind of get any dried solution off it. We give that a good shake. We put it back in its little cap 
and then we're going to store that EC pen back with our nutrient, our pH kit, in a nice cool cupboard away from direct sun, so we know that that EC pen is going to be good to go for quite some time. So what